इसके पहले एक प्योर एकादशी बट एक देर इज महादशी यू विल डू प्रणाम टू एकादशी इंक्लूडिंग एकादशी विल डो महादशी यदि एकादशी व्रत शुद्ध भी है किंतु महादशी है तो महादशी भी एकादशी में आ जाएगी और उस व्रत को पालन करना चाहिए तो आज ये महादशी नाम क्या है बैंजुली महादश वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बैंजुली बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बैंजुली महादशी है ये सबको भी जानना चाहिए और आज के दिन में वो सुधर रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी और कविराज गोस्वामी कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी और ऋषि भगवान मध्य श्रेष्ठ इन दोनों का रघुनाथ भट्ट गोस्वामी का भी विराकृति सभी का उनका आविर्भाव उन दोनों का भी होगा टूडे इन दी डिश अपेरेंट डे नॉट वन एडिशन और लाइक महोत्सव महोत्सव डे और रसिकाचार्य विद रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी एंड देन कपिला एंड ऑल्सो अपेरेंट डे ऑफ रघुनाथ भट्ट गोस्वामी श्रीवादी कथा वाचक भागवत वाचक ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत हिंदी कौनसी लक्ष्मी रूप गोस्वामी वेरी स्वीट वी ऑल्सो यू टू रिज भागवत एंड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु ऑल्सो वॉज वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ रिज भाग वो आज ऐसा दिन है आज के दिन में हम लोग कार्तिक व्रत भी आरंभ करते हैं बहुत से वैष्णव लोग हैं जो द्वादशी से इस व्रत को आरंभ करते हैं कार्तिक व्रत ऊर्जा व्रत नियम सेवा दरअसल में नहीं हूँ विदिन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट दिस कार्तिक व्रत ऊर्जा व्रत नियम सेवा फ्रॉम द्वादशी नो हॉ बट 
वाट अवर सीरियस गुरु श्रीलभक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर है दिगन विश्व ट्राई टू फॉलो वी फॉलो दैट बट फ्रॉम पूर्णिमा है पूर्णिमा में यू तो से अनपूर्णिमा एंड बिगेन दिस फेस्टिवल फ्रॉम पूर्णिमा पूर्णिमा टू पूर्णिमा जो लोग राशि से भी व्रत करेंगे एकादशी से या प्राप्ति भी करते हैं किंतु उनको पूर्ण करना पड़ेगा पूर्णिमा के दिन दो सो विल बिगिन दिस मॉर्थ ऑफ इविन फ्रॉम एकादशी या प्राप्ति नो हम दे बट दे विल हैव टू कम्प्लीटली ऑन पूर्णिमा और फाइव डेज लाख बीस में पंचर निशेष निशेष ये तो हम बिजी आज के बिजी आज तो एनिमल कैन बिगेन फ्रॉम टूडे बट वी शुड ट्राई टू फॉलो गुरु प्रभुता और गुरु दे और ही गेव एट सो मच इन इम्फेसिस ऑन दी दैट दे शुड फॉलो फ्रॉम पूर्णिमा एंड वी आर विल फॉलो एंड वी आर कैप वी आर और गुरु महाराज ऑल्सो टोल एंड ही ऑल्सो टोल किट दी अदरवाइज सो मेनी बैक पर्सन सो फॉल दे विल सेव इट एंड दे विल टेक इट टेक लाउ बैगन टमाटर पूरा दाल एंड एवरीथिंग दे विल टेल ऑल नथिंग दे कैन सेव दिस नॉट दिस इवन सो We should try to follow strictly part of our Guru Dev has followed Shri Prabhupada. Prabhupada is very strict of this, very very. Prabhupada is the vision of both parties. That's why we have to follow him. Just as he has said, internally and outwardly. That's done. Both we should try to follow. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, मैं शिक्षा गुरु श्रीलभक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज कंसेशन फॉर सम ग्रेट फॉर मैच एंड बिकॉज इन नो हॉल इट वॉज कंसेशन दैट इन यू टू टेक दिस दैट वी नेवर गेट रिस्पेक्ट ऑन दिस एंड दैट इज वाई सो मेनी मंथ इन फूडनेट गिव एंड इन द रियल सेंस इन नेवर गेट संज्ञाप्त ऑल्सो तो ये बात है नहीं लीवरल एंड गेट सो मच कंसेशन तो वेस्ट एंड डिबोर्डी आई डोंट वांट तू चेक देम बट कंसेशन ही आज की नहीं बट रेंडरली यू हैव तू कम इन द लाइन ऑफ सी डब्ल्यू बार सबसे चिंतन सबसे बिगोसा मिटा पूरा एंड माय जून दे वांसो तो यू शुड बी वेरी स्ट्रांग अबाउट दी आप लोग इस विषय में ये रहेंगे रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी जी का आप लोग जानते हैं आज समय अधिक नहीं है सात बजे तक का है और बहुत सी बातें करनी है तो रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी जी कैसे थे आदर्श चरित्र पांच मिनट या दस मिनट तुम बोलो तो रघुनाथ जी जी का संक्षेप में उनका चरित्र और उपदेश पांच दस मिनट का बोल तो हमको भी विश्राम हो जाएगा विशेष खैरी केयरफुली एंड ट्राई टू फॉलो रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी एटलीस्ट फॉर वन मंथ वी शुड टेक ए भाव दैट वी विल फॉलो श्री रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी एंड श्री कृष्णदास कबीराज गोस्वामी श्री प्रभुपाल भक्ति विरोध ठाकुर से बीन माइंड एंड रूप गोस्वामी गुरुवीरोचंद्राय राधिताय सदाय कृष्णाय कृष्णवत्ताय गर्भताय नमो नम सर्वथा 
ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਤੋਂ ਸੋਨੇ ਆਸੰਦ ਗੋਣੀ ਤੇ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਦੀ ਗਿਆ ਤੋਂ ਚਲਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਸਦਨੰਤਰ ਉਪਸਥਿਤ ਨਾਰਾਇਣ ਦਸ਼ਾ ਜਨਨ ਸ਼ਰਕਣਾ ਸਚੁਰਨ ਰਚੰਦਿਆ ਤਸਮੈਂ ਸੀ ਪਰਵੇ ਨਮ ਪਰਵੇ ਗੌਰ ਚੰਦਰਾਇ ਰਾਧਿਕਾਇ ਤਰਾਣੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾਇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਭਗਤਾਇ ਤਦ ਭਗਤਾਇ ਨਮੋ ਨਮਃ ਸਸੁਰਨ ਮੈਂ ਸਤੰਗਰ ਰਖਣਾ ਤਾਉਂ ਦੇ ਪੈਂਤ ਲੋਕ ਸੀ ਤੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਰਵਰਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਠ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੀ ਰੂਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੇ ਬੜਿਆ ਉਹ ਸਿਫਾਰ ਸ਼ੋਕਰ ਸਿੱਧ ਸਿਸ਼ਮਾਨ ਉਹ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਜਾਣਾ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਬਸਵਾਰੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਗਰੀ ਅਤਮੈ ਅਦਵਤ ਨਾਮ ਸਾਸਨ ਤਾਂ ਸਿਦੋਲੋਕ ਸੀ ਤੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਰੂਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਗੋਰੀ ਗੁਰਵਾਜਾ ਅਸਰਦੀ ਆਤਮੈ ਸੁਨਾਮ ਤੂੰ ਸਮੋ ਵਸ਼ਾਵਸ ਮੈਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਜਾਣਾ ਉਹ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਰੂਪਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਾਂ ਉਹ ਮਰਦਾ ਸੰ ਵਸੇ ਸੋ ਸਿਦ ਗੁਰੇ ਬਸਤੀ ਕੋਲੀ ਮੀ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਉਟ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਰਾਣਾ ਕਾਸਾ ਸਵਾਮੀ ਆਨ ਥਿਸ ਮੋਸਟ ਆਸਪੀਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਡੇ ਦੀ ਡੇ ਆਫ ਹਿਸ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਿਡੈਂਟਲ ਡਿਸਪੀਰੈਂਸ ਫਰਮ ਹਿਸ ਵਰਕ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਰਾਣਾ ਕਾਸਾ ਸਵਾਮੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰਾਨਸਿਡੈਂਟਲ ਸੋਸੀਅਸ ਆਫ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਤੇਖਾਨੀ ਮਹਾਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਰਾਧਾ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਬੋਲ ਯੈਸ ਹੀ ਅਪੀਅਰਡ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਟੂ ਸੈਟ ਐਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ and to show us oh what it means to do bhajan following the teachings of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri swarup dabrava swami and shri rupa goswami maharaj so in his life by his own example he gave very very so many teachings from the very beginning we know that he took birth in a very wealthy family as the son of govardhan madhundar in the place called Adi Sathagram in Bengal and being born in a very wealthy family still he had the chance to associate with very high class Vaishnavas since his childhood such as Vasudev Das, uh, Bhagavan Acharya, Haridas Thakur, uh, Advaita Acharya and others but especially when he was a small boy he would come and play in the lap of Haridas Thakur he would hear the kirtan of Haridas Thakur and he would kirtan with him and hear so many pastimes from Srimad Bhagavatam so in this way in his childhood by that sangha he developed faith in Krishna Nam and also in his young age he received diksha from Yadunanda Acharya so in this way very deep impressions came in his heart that the purpose of life is not to be entangled in material things and wealth and all these things but rather the only goal of life is to develop love for Krishna he was very fortunate that in his young age as a boy he had the chance to have the darshan directly of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas he wanted to go to Vrindavan but by a trick Nityananda Guru brought him back to Shantipur at that time Ravana Das was a very small boy he met with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and from that day he could never forget Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so afterwards Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Puri and toured in South India and then he returned to Jagannath Puri and the young boy Ravana Das he tried to run away from home again and again to be with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu but he was never successful and then the time came when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tried to go to Vrindavan from Puri he came to Ram Kaligram he met with Rupa and Sanatana and then from there he tried to go to Vrindavan but he changed his mind when he came to Kananyasala he turned around and came back remembering the advice of Srila Sanatana Goswami so when he came back that time to Shantipur again now a young man Raghunath Das he met with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at that time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he never said anything too openly but Mahaprabhu could understand his heart and what instruction did he give? Stira hai kami dao naha utu kami kami pae loka pala sinduku oh Raguna don't be like a madman make your mind steady you should return to your home and if you follow my instructions gradually slowly slowly you will be able to cross over the ocean of material existence Markat pae rake na karo loka dekhaiya ya sacho ke vishay gun ka anasakta hai for now you should stay in your home and you 
enjoy the facilities of this world but without becoming attached. Don't try to make a show of renunciation just to impress others like a monkey. Monkey also gives up God, gives up home, lives only in trees and fruits and roots. But in his heart, many, many desires. So don't try to renounce everything prematurely. Stay in your home for now. But don't be attached. What should you do? Andre Kori Nishta Bhatye Loka Vyamaha Krishna Achiyaka Krishna Tomai Kori Bebudha Stay where you are and develop your Nishta, your determination and steadiness in bhajan, in chanting Harina and serving Vaishnavas. If you do this, oh, very quickly Krishna will be pleased with you and He will deliver you right, from your entanglement in this world. So, Raghunath, receiving this instruction from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he returned to his home and he kept his patience and he acted like an ordinary person for some time. But then, uh, when he heard that Mahaprabhu had returned to Puri from Vrindavan, that time, oh, he became very anxious again and tried to run away. During that time, he had the good fortune to meet with Nityananda Prabhu. Taking permission from his father, he went and met with Nityananda Prabhu at Panihati. And there at Panihati, Nityananda Prabhu kept his feet on the head of Raghunath Das Praswami and ordered him to serve all Vaishnavas. So here, what is the teaching? Nityananda Prabhu is Akhanda Guru Tattva, original Guru Tattva. Even if someone has a very strong desire and is trying again and again to enter into bhajan, yet without the mercy of Sadhguru, without the mercy of Guru Tattva, it is completely impossible, totally impossible. Thousands and thousands of sadhanas hearing, chanting and remembering. But without getting directly the mercy and blessings of Sadhguru, it will not add up to anything at all. No value at all. So when Nityananda Prabhu gave his blessings, then quickly, a little time later, by a trip, Yadonanda Acharya took him out of his house and he escaped from his home. Even though he had so much wealth, like Indra the King of Heaven, and even though his parents had married him to a very beautiful girl, like Gurudevo says, like Miss Universe, most beautiful girl in the world at that time, he had no interest in these things by mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu and by mercy of Vaishnavas. So, he ran away and came under the shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri. There in Jagannath Puri, he was staying very close to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and coming every day and taking Mahaprasad and the remnants of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But only after a few days, oh, he gave up this practice. Then he was begging some uh, prasadam at the Jagannath temple. But after some days, he also gave up this practice. In this way, gradually, gradually, as he was doing bhajan under the guidance of Mahaprabhu and especially Swarup Namaka, his vairagya, his detachment was increasing and increasing and increasing. When Mahaprabhu heard how he was becoming more and more determined in his bhajan, he became so happy. Mahaprabhu Bhakta Gana Vairagya Pradhan Jahadaki Pritahana Gora Bhagavan It is a very prominent symptom in the lives of the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that they are completely detached. They have no, not even a smell of attachment for anything in this world. And when Mahaprabhu sees their behavior, his heart is deeply satisfied. Finally, Raghunanda Swami, what was he doing? Only baking some rotten rice that even the cows would not take. So, uh, today is also disappearance of Srila Gurudev's Kamran Goswami part. Here Srila Gurudev is explaining what is his essential vital contribution to Asam Pradaya. If Srila Krishna's Kamran Goswami part had not written his Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, then oh, everything would have been lost. Why? Because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his most intimate associate, who realized all his internal feelings, the reasons for his coming and everything. Who was that? Swarup Dhamadava Swami. But Swarup Dhamadava Swami, he knew even more than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had. <laughs> so, now we know. Swarup Dhamadava knew more than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu even. About Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because 
So being Lalita Sakhi herself directly swerved Damodha, he knew more about Mahamuru than Mahamuru knew even. But he didn't write any granta, only left behind some karacha, that means some notes, some small verses, which are very, very hard to understand, very deep. Uh, then also Raghunath Daskaswami heard directly from Swarup Damodha, and he also wrote a poem. He heard from Ruth Goswami. The explanation of the natural world, so now the karcha. So, Ravana Daswaswami, he heard directly from Saurabh Dhamadar, and he also heard from Srila Rupa Goswami Pai, who had also realized the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Vishnam Skarita Mahaprabhu Mahaprabhu. He realized all of these things. And so, Ravana Daswaswami, he became the recipient of mercy of Saurabh Dhamadar and Rupa Goswami Pai. So in this way, all the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the hands of Ravana Daswaswami Pai. But he also wrote his books how, like Kajata, like notes, not giving explicit or simple explanations. But Srila Karana Goswami Pai, associated with Srila Raghunanda Goswami Pai, and hearing everything directly from him, and taking assistance from the notes of Swarup Dhamara and from the notes of uh, Ravana Das Goswami. Then he explained everything broadly, in details, in simple language, in his Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. So therefore, if Krishna Das Karat Goswami Pad had not explained all of these things explicitly in his Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, then the Jivan Charitra, the life history of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what was his behavior and pastimes, and also the behavior and pastimes and teachings, Asar and Vichar, of his associates, such as Rupa Goswami Pad, Sanatan Goswami Pad, and Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, it would have been lost to the world forever. So, Dhala Srila Gurudev is explaining that Krishna Das Karaj Goswami Pai gave a very essential teaching. What was that? We see, in his younger life, he had a guru, but that guru was not Sad Guru, Karamati Guru. He was a low key guru, uh, only guru in a materialistic sense, in a worldly sense. So, the, uh, he actually gave up that guru. Why? For the sake of Nityananda Prabhu. And when Nityananda Prabhu, he saw that the Srila, that, that time Krishna Das, he left his worldly guru and left all worldly affairs, even his own brother and family, for the sake of Nityananda Prabhu. Then Nityananda Prabhu was very pleased upon him. So Kavarat Goswami Pad wrote, By the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, I attained residence in Vrindavan. By the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, I had darshan, in the real sense, real sense of the word darshan, of C.C. Radha Radha Mohan, C.C. Radha Govinda, C.C. Radha Gopinath Jyot. And by the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, I attained the shelter of the lotus feet of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. So, this is the result of what thing? All these things are attained only by the mercy of Sri Guru. So, Srila Gurudev, he explained that one should keep very firm faith always. Guru Nishta, complete unflinching faith without any doubt at all in the lotus feet of Sad Guru. And why? Because this Guru Nishta is the backbone of Bhakti. Without backbone, one is, becomes useless and cannot do anything. So simply on the path of Bhakti, unless one has unflinching Guru Nishta, then he cannot make any any progress. So then Srila Gurudev, he prayed that on this day we pray to Srila Krishna's Karam Goswami Pai, that even one drop of his the high transcendental qualities may appear within the core of our hearts. All the path we say, Yadi Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Nehi Aate, to Raya Ramananda Sam... <laughs> now, Srila Gurudev is explaining that what kind of contribution is there in Sri Chaitanya Chara Samrita? If Srila Krishna Saravad Goswami Pai had not written Sri Chaitanya Chara Samrita, then we would have no Roy Ramananda Sarvad, the conversation between Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Raya, the background Godavari, which contains all the essential conceptions of the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teachings. If there was no Chaitanya Charamrita, then we would have no Rupa Shiksha, instructions to Srila Rupa Goswami Pai. If he had not written Chaitanya Charamrita, then there would be no Sanatan Shiksha. There would be no Rathayatra Pasanga. We see in Chaitanya Charamrita, 
Paragraph number 25 has written so many beautiful things, giving the details of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes at Ratayatra. In these pastimes, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has expressed very, very high class of Mahabhava of Shrimati Radhika. So, if this had not been uh, written, explained in Chaitanya Sarvita by Kamarad Goswamipad, then all of these great treasures, they are the vast Agada Samadhi, very vast, endless treasures, they would be totally lost to the world. In this Sri Chaitanya Charamrita, Karat Goswami Pai has put the essence of all the Goswami Grantas, all the books of the other Goswamis also. So if he had not done that, then we really we would not know anything, actually, what is proper understanding. Also, in Chaitanya Charamrita, we find the explanation of what is proper achara and vichar, not only philosophical considerations, but what is correct behavior. So, Srila Gurudev, now he's coming to this point. Just like Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we see in Chaitanya Taramrita, he told Ravana Daska Swami, Gramya Kata Na Shunile Danya Bhata Na Pahibe. Don't hear village talk and don't speak any village talk. But what, what is this village talk? It means especially criticism. Don't criticize any Vaishnava. Don't criticize anyone. Srila Gurudev said, if someone's doing very bad things even, you don't criticize them. Or to speak of someone who's doing good things, don't criticize them. But even if someone is doing bad things, even it is not justified that one should criticize them. So Srila Gurudev, he said, make a promise. Or now I have come here to do this cocky bra. At least you should practice for one month in this area. Very strictly. If I will hear that she is or he is criticizing, at one time it takes some strong step to not to be with her sin or person. Yeah. You should all mind that there. So, she is good explaining. For one month we should try to follow strictly, at least for one month. All the, the rules and regulations which are given by our Acharyas. She is good an example. Now this Kartik Brat is the last month of Chakra Masya. So we should try to observe all the rules and regulations of Chakra Masya, not taking eggplants, not taking tomato, not taking Oribao, and so many other things you can see in our Vaishnav calendar. All the things are written there in detail. But I mentioned that it may be in some countries like Russia, or you cannot live without these things, because other things may not be available. But now you have come here, that concession no longer stands. If, we, if you, <laughs> and also Gurudev is giving guarantee, if for one month you don't take tomato, you will not die. <laughs> we will go and get so much, so many things, so many things. I will give plenty of food to Kurukhan uh, Prabhu and all Russians. <laughs> I will give no to take any food. Plenty of fruits and brandy that will sit in. In conclusion, Srila Gurudev is saying that we are all indebted to the lotus feet of Srila Krishna and Karanaka Swami Pai. Go Primaran and Srila Gurudev. So, now, Abhishek Tayyar Mujay. Ek Mahina, Pratko Palun Kare, Radha Krishna Ji Prasanna Ho, Iske Ji. Aru Prabhnati Ka Adar Samari Guru Vargo Ka, विशेष करके भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर सिला प्रभुपाल हम लोगों के गुरुजी और स्वामी इत्यादि की सबका हम लोग लेकर के पालन करें गौ प्रणाम और तुम्हारो तक कल छह बज करके सूर्य उदय होते ही कुछ मुख में दे देना चावल हो या ठाकुर जी का कोई प्रसाद हो मुड़ी हो जो कुछ हो हमारे पास में जनता दो कराम को और वैष्णव जिस वो ब्रेक यो फॉर्मिंग ऑफ इंडिया हरे कृष्ण डी टाइम ऑफ ब्रेकिंग फास्ट टुमारो इज वेरी शॉर्ट इन बट सो एस सुन एस द सनराइज कम्स अप देन यू शुड टेक सम ग्रेन एस सुन सनराइज इज बिकॉज़ द पारण इज ओवर एट सिक्स थर्टी फोर और एक बात है कहाँ बैठ जा कहाँ जा रहा
Vaishnava is Vaishnava is Sridhami is Sanyasi Bhagavad Gita. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to give some synopsis of the teachings in Harikata which he discussed in Gaganath Puri. Not, not, not. After what he said, I have finished there. And that I, you will remember and I will just... Huh? No, I have finished. Oh, this has also been finished. We have done up to that step. But uh, one man, I am fasting. <laughs> Roy Ramanatha Sambhad in the discussion where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was inquiring from Sri Srila Roy Ramananda about the ultimate sadhya, the ultimate goal of attainment, and also the sadhana, the process by which this sadhya, this goal can be achieved. And in the course of this discussion, <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, was hearing from Roy Ramananda various suggestions, uh, and going from Varanashram gradually to Sarvadharma Parityarja, and coming eventually to Gyan uh, Mishra Bhakti, and then Gyan Shunya Bhakti. So up to this point, she, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard, and <coughs> He uh, responded by saying, Evo Bhakya, Age Koho Ar. This is external. Uh, this is not directly pertaining to the Atma directly. And it is not the pure process by which the ultimate Swarup of the Jiva can be attained. So therefore he said, Bhakya, Evo Bhakya, Age Koho Ar. Speak further on this. Then <coughs> Sri Roy Ramananda suggested Jnani Prayasam Udapasya Namanta Eva Jivanti Sanko Karitam Pavadiya Bharatam Stane Sita Shuti Gatam Tanuvan Manovir Deprayaso Chitra Jitokya Sipais Prilokya. So here Roy Ramananda uh, suggested that all attempts to cultivate Jnan, Jnani Prayasam, which covers over one's pure bhakti, this should be eliminated. So, jnana shunya, devoid of any uh, cultivation of jnana and tendency toward mukti liberation. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he accepted this because, why do we call it about the liberation? But this uh, attempt to cultivate jnana, jnana parayasam, was aiming toward only the level of liberation, not for pure But I, I rejected it. He uh, come back here. He had missed so many classes. Because he was sleeping at that time, what to do? <laughs> I rejected this. So, I saw it again. Gurudev spoke about Aishwari and oh, Yatu Kima. What you have heard in the last few Sotmanita. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted this proposal by Roy Ramananda. He said, uh, Eho Bhalo, this is Eho Hoi, Eho Hoi. Up to this point, this is good, and you should speak further on this particular point. So then, uh, then Roy Ramananda, he spoke this shloka, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavi Tamati, Kriyatam Abhi Kukhoti Lam Yate, Patra Lolyam Abhi Mulyam Ekalam, Janma Koti Sukhitayar Nalam Yate. In this shloka, uh, it is describing that 
this pure Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati, that this development of the ecstatic loving devotion uh, on the level of the Atma toward the lotus feet of Krishna, uh, this spontaneous path of Raga Nuga Bhakti, following in the footsteps of the eternal associates of the Supreme Lord in Braja, that this is the uh, most desirable attainment and it cannot be attained even by Janma Sukritara Nalakite, by millions of lifetimes of Sukriti, it cannot be attained. So, but if one can attain this, if he gets the opportunity uh, to accept this Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati, immediately he should accept it. And there, uh, that qualification was given by Roy Ramananda, that uh, only by lobha, only by greed, transcendental greed and desire to attain this, can it be attained. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at that point, he was very happy to hear this, but still he wanted to hear further. And then, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, then Roy Ramananda, he began to explain the gradual progression in the stages of Prem Bhakti. First of all, beginning with Dasya Prem, then going to Sakya Prem, Vatsali Prem, like this. So, um, by this discussion, Roy Ramananda Sampad, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is making it clear that only within the level of Prem Bhakti is this desirable and acceptable in Braja Prem Bhakti. And finally, uh, Roy Ramananda in this Sambhag, he went to further and further descriptions in the level of Madhurya Prem, which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu relished unlimitedly. So this is the basic synopsis and others can explain more eloquently than myself. Sampada, one name of Sampada, Vrindavan Chasamada. 
to bring Krishna, but that Nanda Baba is waiting for him. You will have to take bath and you will have to take prasad and time is going on. Over. You should come, but he does not want to come. He always is observed in playing with Sakha. So he uh, forgets mother, his father, his love and everything, and he is totally observed in of playing with Sakha. So the, this argument takes. But after that part he comes. Mother Yasoda, how to love and so many things. So many things. And then he comes. But they, that is why they still, even ladies, they take poverty, sermon, and stay like Saka. What to tell Saka? Male, even. Only to know I told all this. You should know all this. Or we, who have done this before, who have done this before,
the example is given about Charanya is Kaliya and the another one is those who was kept, who was kept in jail by Jarasandha and those who took shelter of Krishna when Krishna heard about them from Narad Muni that oh they had taken shelter in your lotus feet why you don't save them then Krishna understood oh they are surrendered to me then he spoke with Bhim and sent Bhim to kill others and make them free in that way Krishna gave him Sharan and the Kaliya Srila Gurudev explained like Kaliya when he Krishna has Krishna was fighting with him and defeated him after that he started dancing and then Kaliya when he heard from his wife oh that Krishna is God then he started taking shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna this kind of devotees they are known as Sharanya and the other one is Jnanicha those who are before Jnanis but after hearing the glories of Krishna they gave up the thinking of getting liberation and then they took shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna like Vishnu Pitama and Sanak Sanandan all these kind of examples Shri Guru is speaking and then Seva Nishra the third one those from like not after hearing the glories even from the starting of their lives they had they were Seva Nishra that means they had full faith in serving Lord like Srila Gurudev gave an example of Chandra Dvash, Bahulasav, who was Bahulasav, he was one of the associate, one of the associate of Lord Ram, I think, in Janak Puri. He was the associate of Krishna in his house. Krishna went and accepted his invitation and take, took prasad over there. Then Srila Gurudev spoke about Uddhav, Daru and Shrutadev, these Kshatriyas, Upananda, all these they are Parishad Bhaktas, the third kind of Dasa. Uddhav, Daru and Shrutadev, all these Kshatriyas and Upananda, they, are, they come under the category of Parishad. And the fourth one is Anugami Das, Raktak Patrat, all these are Anugami Bhaktas. And after that, Srila Gurudev explained that there are again another category of Vatijiya speciality of Rasta Pitra Brajada. Then Srila Gurudev explained Dhurya Bhakta. What I told him about. Srila Gurudev first explained about Dhurya Bhakta. Those who stay with the whole family, like with Nanda Baba, Ishwada Maya, and all no, the other. No, 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 no. Father, not father. No, no. Or it used to come always under dust. They are not dust. So don't take the name of Nanda Jasuka. No, your family is a present. Oh, father, dust. In dust. In that state, those who stay with the family members, they are in Dasya Bhakta, they are Dasya Bhaktas, but they stay near the family members. They are known as Dhurya Bhaktas. And then there are Dhir Bhaktas in that state. Those who have faith in the prayer piece, those who have full faith in the prayer piece and they like the leaders of Krishna. Those who have faith in the beloved, like gopis and all others. And then Srila Gurudev explained about Veer Bhaktas, those who have attained the full mercy of Krishna and they don't care about any other thing. These kind of devotees in Dakya, they are known as Veer Bhaktas. Then Srila Gurudev explained that all these, all of them, they, are in, they have Sambram Priti for Krishna. All reverence mood for Krishna. Then Srila Gurudev explained about Prajumna. Or even though they are fully dependent on Krishna, 
and they are Dakti Bhaktas, but they have some Brahm mood. Some Brahm mood means on reverence mood. Then Srila Gurudev example, gave an example how when they got cursed that all of your dynasty will be killed by what that Musal or club, iron. Then they were so much scared from Krishna that they didn't come directly to Krishna and they approached Okra Sen. That's why Srila Gurudev said because they are in awe and reverence, that's why they felt uh, scared to come in front of Krishna. They always hold their hands in front of Krishna. Then Srila Gurudev explained that in all these kind of devotees, there are three, three kind of devotees, Nitya Siddha, Sadhana Siddha and Sadhaks. Nitya Siddha, Nitya Siddha, Sadhana Siddha and Sadhak, who are Sadhak, those who stay in this world and by having deep mood of Dasya Bhav in their heart and then still they do bhajan, they are known as sadhaks. Then Srila Gurudev said, what is the Udipak for them? Udipak means by seeing with things, they immediately remember Krishna. First, stimulation mood. First is the mercy of Krishna and the second is the dust of the lotus feet of Krishna and the third is Mahaprasad. By seeing these three things, they get Udipan. And then Srila Gurudev explained that following, um, fulfilling the desire, Akya, Krishna ki Akya ka palani anubhaga. To obey the order of Krishna is anubhav for them. Then Srila Gurudev explained, in this Dase, there are three things, Prem, Sneh and Rag. Until Adhikrit, the four kind of das we explained in the starting, those who are Adhikrit, they come until Prem. And then Srila Gurudev spoke about Rag, that like Parishit Maharaj, Uddhav, etc., they are until the point of Rag. And then Srila Gurudev explained, servant and others, those who are like, like Chitra Patra, they come little bit more than this Prem, Sneh and Rag in Dasya Bhav. Then Srila Ban Maharaj explained, uh, asked one question, I think Ban Maharaj or Srila Trip Maharaj, that like Parishit Maharaj, first Srila Gurudev explained that Parishit Maharaj, he was, before hearing Bhagavatam, he was in Dasya Bhav. But when he heard Srimad Bhagavatam from Shukdev Goswami, then we accept that he came into until Madhurya came, Madhurya, until Madhurya, then until Gopi Bhav. Then Srila Gurudev explained that in that day there are two things, Ayog and Viyog. Ayog means before having darshan of Krishna and another one is Viyog that after having darshan of Krishna, when they get separated, then they come in the mood of Piyo. Then Srila Gurudev explained that all these details is almost in like a, not in vividly, ex vivid explanation, but in short, in the essence it's Dasya Bhav, in Dasya Rasa. Then Srila Tirtha Maharaj asked another question that until which level of Gopi Prem Srila Parishit Maharaj has reached? Then Srila Gurudev explained that we see in Vriyad Bhagavatamritam that Parishit Maharaj when he is instructing his mother then he spoke to his mother that oh my dear mother you should not consider Krishna as your father-in-law you should consider him as Gopi sees him as the beloved and he spoke about Krishna mantra and other things then Srila Kuldi explained why we, under, why we say that he is reached to, to the until Madhuri, because he is giving all these things and speaking all these things to his mother, and we understood by that that until and unless he had reached to that point, how he can tell this to his mother? Then Srila Gurudev explained that we can take Srila um, Parishit Maharaj till that he had got the mood of. Dasis of Radharani, Sudharani Dasi or something like that, Srila Gurudev explained that after that, by, the, by doing bhajan, one will realize 
that at this level he has reached. We cannot say that more than that, a big, more than Mahabharata he reached or not, or something like that, we will never explain. Sata, Savarta, Tathi, Barnan, Thai. Jo Kishi, Ye Prash, Me, Shrit Ho, Jaiga, Wo, Ne, Barnan, Karega. Sata, Abhi, Sute, Gurta, Me, Sata, Thaupa, Ke, Barnan, Kar, Rai, Hai. Kishi, Ye, Barnan, Kar, Rai, Anga, Thai, Sambhav, Nahi, Hoga. Sudhe Goswami was at that time in neutral because he was speaking. If he was observing one rush, that's nothing to say. So we are finishing our class here. Tomorrow in the morning, after RP, Kirtan and Bhagavan. सवेरे आरती कीर्तन और थोड़ा सा प्रवचन के बाद में साढ़े छ के करीब में या पौने सात के करीब में आप लोग तैयार हो जाएंगे जैसे सात बजे हम लोग आरंभ कर देंगे यहाँ से हम लोग जाएंगे भूतेश्वर डायरेक्ट कल भूतेश्वर और वहाँ पर भूतेश्वर का दर्शन करके अभिषेक की कुंड पोतरा कुंड और उनका दर्शन करेंगे आदि केशव का दर्शन करेंगे और यदि सुविधा होगी तो हम लोग मंदिर के भीतर में जन्मभूमि में जाएंगे और यदि कुछ असुविधा हुई फोर के साल यदि नहीं ले जाएंगे तो हम नहीं जाएंगे वहाँ पर करने में कोई असुविधा नहीं होगी और गोपेश्वर का तो गली वहीं पर रहेंगे और हम लोग वहाँ पर चलेंगे मैं भी जाऊँगा अभी लाल सब हो इंडी बॉर्डिंग अबाउट सिक्स थर्टी और सेवन बिफोर we will start from here and first we go to Bhutteshwa Mahadev and from there we will return to Putra and then Adi Kesha and then if any suitable position we will enter in Krishna temple and then we will come uh, to Mathura Devi Dekh Vishnu with Vishnu and then Matra Devi and in the land we will come to Gupta Ji and there we will make ready something for pray for Baal Bho and then we will come to